Hello everyone, it's Allie from Titan and welcome back to our channel. I am here with our third of four personal breaks this evening and do have a quick football opening with a TriStar Hidden Treasures mini autograph football helmet blind box. Now this here is for Curtis A from Colorado. So thank you so much Curtis for letting me open up some more football related products for you here on the channel. And I hope to find you an awesome mini helmet to add to your collection. Now we just got in these TriStar mini helmets I believe last week and you guys had a lot of fun with these these past weekend. So lots of mini helmets during this past weekend stream actually had fun courtesy of Joby One Kenobi in chat suggest it, pulling out the little card because thankfully the TriStar helmets do come with little ID cards including stats about the career of the player on the helmet. So for me especially a lot of these helmets that we've been finding are Hall of Famers and people that played before I was born so I do definitely need a little bit of a cheat sheet but also it's cool to have people guess. So I'm going to read off some of the features on the card. I'll sneak it off camera for you guys and read it. Those of you in the comment section go ahead and guess. I'm sure some people will be cheating but I'll pretend that that's not happening. But we'll see if you guys can guess who is on the helmet and hopefully it'll be someone very exciting to add to Curtis's collection. The TriStar Hidden Treasures helmets also have, we've never found one, but also has the opportunity to find a bonus memorabilia piece through redemption with a treasure ticket. So a little bit of an added bonus to the TriStar helmets as compared to the Leaf mini helmets. We're almost out of stock of both of them though. I'm having Bossman look for more to see if we can get more in because you guys ate through almost every single helmet we had this past weekend. I think we're down to just two from like 10. So definitely going pretty quickly. But let's go ahead and get started here for Curtis by snapping us into the corner. All right, let's see. I'm sure it'll be a little bit awkward for me reading off the card and like, you know, there's no live chat to like guess, but. Like I said, those of you in the comments want to play a guessing game and then edit and see if you're correct or not, or just wait to post once you hear the answer. That works as well. Not sure if it's really going to work out super well, just because, like I said, you, people during the live stream were Googling answers, which I'm like, yeah, duh, it makes sense. I didn't think that people would do that, but then it is what it is. But anyways, let's see who we will find here for Curtis. Let me just kind of reach my hand in here, take out... See the little identification card. So we do have College Football Hall of Fame in 2004. It was the 1990 number seven overall draft pick. It's the first African-American quarterback to win the Heisman Trophy. 1989 Heisman Trophy winner, University of Houston. 1989 UPI College Football Player of the Year. All right, you guys got five, four, three, two, one. Time for the reveal here. We do have, oh, I like with the 89 Heisman inscription here. University of, uh, universe, university, what? University of Houston helmet here. Andrew, War I'm not sure if it's Ware or Wari. I must admit, so I'm, I'm horrible at uh, retired football players, but do have the 89 inscription there. Andre here for Curtis. So not too often do we find the, oh, this one is TriStar authenticated. I was looking for who is the authenticator here. Not too often do we find collegiate helmets, but I do like how this one looks here with the whites and then the black pen. Nice hand, uh, handwriting here by Andre. I am just stumbling all over my words here this evening. What is going on? But I like it, the little little strap as well. I feel like that's cute. Not sure if we see that often on the minis. It just for some reason is standing out to me in this one in particular. But it's very clean looking helmets, the whites and the red. And then like I said, the black pen here. Nice handwriting. And I like the inscription here for Curtis. So with that, very, very quick opening here. That does do it for this mini helmets unboxing. So thank you so much, Curtis, for letting me open up this mini helmet for you. Really hope you enjoyed the opening, had fun with the guessing game, and love this new addition to your collection. Andre W. here from the University of Houston. Now, it doesn't have any, aside from the number seven overall draft pick for Detroit in 1990, not seeing any other NFL-related statistics on here, unless I'm just blind, because the Heisman is for collegiate. I was looking here, I'm assuming. And the 89 Heisman for University of Houston. Otherwise, it'd be awkward if that was an NFL award. Then number seven overall draft pick, CFL, college football, right? And then college football Hall of Fame 2004. So interesting. 
I'll have to look him up, see how his career went in the NFL. Perhaps they're leaving off a lot here. Hopefully he wasn't injured or anything like that. That'd be sad. But with that, that does wrap off this opening here for Curtis. So like I said, Curtis, I really hope you enjoyed it and love this new addition to your collection. All of you out there watching, I know I was, I don't know what was going on here. I was like, uh, uh, uh. but I hope you still enjoyed this opening. If you did, don't forget to go ahead and hit that like button. Comments for me, leave those down below. And of course, if you're not yet part of the Titan Cards family, we'd love to have you join us. Make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Today seems to be an off day for me, which those do happen, but it's a little awkward when it does. Of course, everything being one hit, I'm like, I can't go back in time and recorrect my my verbal errors. So hopefully you guys didn't, uh, it didn't take you out of the video that much. Also, before I get on out of here and into our fourth and final opening of the evening, I do have to give an extra special shout out to all of our channel members. Thank you so much, you all, for going above and beyond with your support. Bossman and I truly do appreciate it. We do have 13 Black Label fans. And in Bounty Hunter Breaks, Chris Rivers, D. Vaughn, Epicenter Gaming, Fails Tales, Kira Soltari, Mark Mardini, Mike Clotis, M.T. Sean F., Stephen Olivo, and Stephen Bly. We also do have nine Gem Mint fans. Barco Ver, Dusty Archuleta, J.H. Geek, Jonathan Scott, Michael C., Michael Bigelow, Scorecard Collectibles, Shidnaf Zen, and William Hastings. But thank you so much again, though, to all of our channel members. And all members do have their names shown on screen at the end of every video. But with that, that does it here for football. This was our one and only sports of the night. Did have non-sports to kick off things with the Star Wars Masterwork. Just checked out some TCG product with those Yu-Gi-Oh! Blaster boxes. Football. And then we're transitioning back to non-sports. Up next, we do have two boxes of Game of Thrones. So that should be exciting. Two autographs per box for a total of four there up next for Dylan. But with that, that does wrap off this video here. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. Take care, stay safe, and I hope you all join us in the next one. Bye.